Welcome to another video. My name is Victor and this is Richley and we both love traveling. We are currently living in Moscow, the capital of Russia. In this occasion we've gone to the older age of this country, to the Brumovsky Krai, to discover new corners of this impressively big country. Let us share our adventures with you and let's live the experience together. And this is where our adventure starts today, right here in Vladivostok, the capital of the Primorsky Krai. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How is your day going? So right now it is 6.30 in the morning here in Vladivostok, in the Primorsky Krai in Russia. Uh, we are waiting for our bus because we are going to the very south of uh, the region. Uh, we are going to see some incredible cliffs which are very near from the border with North Korea. And um, yes, it's going to take three hours to get there by bus. Imagine, that's going to be such a long way. And this vintage lorry is going to be our transport today. The only bad thing about excursions is that you have to wake up extremely early in the morning and we were very exhausted before even starting our journey. It seems like if it was autumn, but it's spring. Very strange. This is going to be our first stop here. This is um, a very tiny town called um, Barabash. Barabash, yeah. And um, we were told that uh, we were going to have to stop here 50 minutes and that uh, we can buy some products in that supermarket over there. And um, yeah. Okay, can you tell them about um, that situation that we had just now with the lady that didn't have like change for like a hundred rubles? Okay, so basically we went to a toilet and um, we gave her a 100 ruble note, which is like one euro ten. And she said, oh, I don't have change for this. So it was very sad. Luckily, we found another toilet here. Anyway, now it's time to move on. We need to go and have breakfast across the street. Oh, look at that guys, that's pork. Do you feel like having that? I do indeed. So we can either have chicken or pork? Uh, what do you want to have? Pork. Okay. So Rich got me a half meal. Uh, he forgot that I don't drink uh, meal anymore. But I still thought I can make an exception today. So, Cheers. And what is this here? Well, this is a typical Russian chashlik. I'm, uh, I'm about to try. It's very... Uh, it's very tasty. It's very, it's very tasty? Like okay. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Do you know that there are many North Korean people living in Vladivostok? That's why I decided to ask our guide if they work legally. I have a question. Курейцы, которые работают у вас, они легально работают? Большая часть из них, да, работают легально. В основном они работают на стройках и занимаются ремонтами. Очень много ребят из Северной Кореи занимаются отделочными работами. И они платят ежемесячно большую часть своей зарплаты, они отдают своему государству. Вот это что я думал. Спасибо тебе за информацию, это очень... Very interesting. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. All of a sudden, this beautiful dog came to say hi. And I think it's because he realized that we were having some shashlik. So I'm going to give him the fat from my shashlik because I know that he would enjoy it more than me. Let me tell you something about Richley. He really loves animals, especially dogs. So for him it was a very nice encounter and a very good therapy to see this nice dog. And once again it's time to get back to the road. And one hour later we had another stop in a petrol station to go to the toilet and to get some food. 
Somehow, the petrol station and the scenery surrounding it made me feel like in a zombie film, specifically Resident Evil 3. And guess what? Richley couldn't resist the temptation to act like a zombie, so look at him. And this is when the real fun started. We have finally got to our first stop. Our tour guide Alexei was explaining us everything about this place. Richley, what do you think about this place? I just don't know what to say. It was something that um, I wasn't expecting. Um, nobody would have thought that Russia is so like and varied. Yeah, it's um, very varied. Many people think Russia is a snowy country, white or cold, green. All this. I, I feel as I'm in Namibia or Australia or certain parts of the US. Yes, I think that this is one of the most varied countries in the world. Look at this. I just want to be here. We need to continue. I know. Let's go. He's gonna leave without us. Let's run. Later, we went to see a small and abandoned small castle that belonged to Ivan Jankowskowa, a very well off person from Poland. Oh, look at this purple Look what I found. I'm so happy I found a purple scallop. Something that really attracted my attention was to see these two very old ships that sank many years ago. Hello guys, so we've come to the final stop here. Uh, the name of this place is um, Peninsula, and this is absolutely beautiful because there is like this kind of like um, typical um, Asian type of like pine trees that they are like in the Japanese coast, and uh, they are over there. But before forgetting, I would like to tell you that right here we are located 40 kilometers away from the border with North Korea, so North Korea is going down there. Now we need to go and explore the terrain. Guys, I have to say that I am extremely happy that we decided to come here because yesterday we were really um, hesitating uh, to come here because uh, the price was a little bit too much for us. Not because we could not afford it, uh, it but it's because we thought that it wasn't worth it to pay that money, you know, to come over here. But to be honest with you, every single coin that we paid to come here, it is worth it and it was worth it because to have this amazing view is priceless. I have to say that to see the Sea of Japan for me is like a fairy tale. And to walk through this very dried, yellow and very unusual grass in Russia made me wonder many times if we actually were in the same country. It was very warm that day that I even felt like washing my face with the cold water of the sea. It's impossible to believe that across this sea, Japan is located. Without any doubt, the Far East of Russia is a real hidden jewel. today's excursion and uh, we're extremely happy because we actually made it and, um, and we managed to see this beauty look at it it really doesn't feel as though we're in russia it feels as though we're in japan wow japan or korea
Korea because these, these trees are just very different from the average trees in Russia. Uh, do you want to say like some words to describe this place before we say goodbye? Serene, idyllic, calm, calm and natural. I would also say it's blissful. You have to come here. But you I will tell you here. I will tell you that to get here, um, the bus ride is very rocky. Um, it takes around three and a half hours from Vladivostok. It is worth it when you get here, but you do have to be prepared. And with this amazing landscape, I'll have to say goodbye to all of you. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give me a thumbs up. I also would like to remind you to stay tuned to my content because there are more videos coming up.